Hey everybody, welcome back to Factorio full release, first uh, first series of the full release on this channel. I'm Joe Mama, your host. So yeah, we are, where did we leave off? What were we doing last time? Yeah, we were down at the oil refinery, if I'm not mistaken, uh, putting together a little bit of blue science, right? We were trying to get some blue science up and running, and it's still trickling away. But um, before we can really employ blue science, and again, this is a small scale, just want to get a, I'm aiming at a particular science research item, and uh, I want this thing to, to just um, do its thing and uh, create some science for us to work with. However, in order for that to happen, we actually need to make some changes to our science research area, which, where is it? I forget. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Yeah, we threw this together. Kind of a basic design. Um, I've got another design that I like to use. Um, it's my own design. Very happy about it. Comes Works pretty well. But uh, it requires a metric crap ton of belts. So before we can start employing blue science, I don't want to spoon feed it into the labs like I did before. That kind of sucked. So let's um, let's go ahead. This is a good time since we're going to talk about getting our third science mass produced. Then we need a place to put it. We need a place to send it. Um, so I think we're going to do that. However, there's a couple of hurdles we got to jump through, jump over. A couple of, what's the word? Jump through hoops, jump over hurdles. Yeah, there you go. There's a couple of things we have to do first before we can um, mass produce the stuff we need for the laboratories. Notice <coughs> in my inventory, blah, blah, here we go, um, I've run out of blue assembly machines. I've run out of gray assembly machines. Yes, I can hand jam them, but I'd like to go ahead and uh, might as well just create the thing that's going to be needed to make those. So obviously we're gonna aim for blue machines and also we don't have I was just looking through the mall if you want to call it the mall the place where we come and uh, get all the stuff we need for building the factory because that's what this is this is all really for just building the factory of course except for this blue science here or uh, yellow science green green science. blue and yellow makes green good lord I can't talk um yeah, so, <clears throat> and I guess this all contributes to that science too, so, uh, yeah, but you know what? All that science is focusing on getting this factory up and running. And then, we will be able to ha set up a larger factory for the production, the mass production of science. We don't have, as I look at this mall here, is, what we don't have are red, long-handed inserters. So we're going to do that. But again, we don't have an assembly machine to do it. Can I make one? Yes, I can. And I need to actually make two. So let's go ahead, one, two. We'll hand jam then. them. The first one is going to make um, gear wheels. It's, it's almost like we need just a metric crap ton of gear wheels to do anything in this game. So we've got another one, so there's two. We're going to stretch this belt of iron um, of iron plates this way and then we're going to bring this let's see the iron plates can go there this can go there our uh, yellow inserters and um, let's set the recipe here for awesome um, for gear wheels and let's set the recipe here for long-handed inserters um, <clears throat> excuse me, and we're going to, of course, need iron plates for the gear wheels, <clears throat> and I think that's going to give us, yeah, that gives us everything we need for the red handled, or for the red inserters, so let's stretch a do we want to put it there? Can we put it there? Can we put it anywhere else that can... I don't want to drop another pole, but I guess I'm going to have to. Alright. Whatever. So, we'll go ahead... Put that there. And let's drop this there. And red-handed ins red inserters, long-handed inserters. Let's go ahead and set up a limiter to make less than... Or a hundred. We're gonna make a hundred. 
Okay, so now we've got our red-handed inserters. Next needs to be, and I, I thought I had set up a spot that we could use, but the next thing we need to do needs to be level one and level two assembly machines. And maybe it was here. Let's see what's required. I know we're going to need gear wheels, so maybe I'll produce yet another one of those. Where is the oil pump jack? I could have sworn we had a machine set up to make oil pump jacks, but I guess not. Because that the the components used for that are not that far off. Um, well, first, the small machine, or the uh, assembly one, we're going to need, let's see, three electronic circuits, five gear wheels, and nine iron plates. All right. So electronic circuits we can take if we reroute, if we do this, I can't drag this mouse in a straight line, I swear. Let's see, now what is needed for the blue? Do we need gear wheels for that also? Yes, we do. So which tells me that it might not be a terrible idea to do this. And we'll put gear wheels here. What's the assembly time for uh, for these machines? Um, five seconds, or less than a half a second for that one, and a half a second for that one. Hmm, okay. Well, this could be interesting. We'll probably run out of iron plates really quick. And let's see, this will be the, this will be the gray assembly machines, level ones, and then the level twos will be assembled here. All right, let's go ahead and drop, oh, come on, you can fit. Do, do, I, do I need to spell this out for you? Okay, there we go. And let's get it some power. And let's get it some light. Do we have any light? Do I not have any light bulbs? I guess not. All right, we'll go up and get some light bulbs. By the way, a couple of things of note. Uh, first is we've done all the science, uh, all the simply red and green science. All those sciences are done. There's nothing left that requires just those. In fact, let me, let me double check that before I lie to you. Um, if all of these things... Yeah, nothing seems to point toward a science that is still undone that requires uh, that requires just red and blue. Looks like it's all d dealt with. So, obviously, yeah, that makes room, that ensures, that underscores the fact that we need room for, uh, for a second belt. So we might as well just redesign the whole damn ding. All right, so we're short on steel and electronic circuits for this thing. How many? Okay, we need one and three. All right. So, that being the scenario, we are going to split. <laughs> Do I have not have a yellow splitter? I don't have a yellow splitter. Okay. We'll grab a bunch of those. Um, and we'll bring the electronic circuits and we'll marry them onto single belt with the steel. And I think it'll be all right. So, oh, the other thing I was going to say is that I am sorry that uh, I have not been very prolific in my videos lately, at least not this week. We've been kind of working our tails off in the business. Uh, a few months ago, we introduced a new product, and um, initially, you know, it was kind of slow. We sold a couple, but one of the people to whom we sold it, to whom we sold this thing, and it, uh, shared it on LinkedIn, of all places. And that just never occurred to me. But it's a very profession-centric thing that we do. And it was a very profession-centric uh, product. And he was just over the moon about it and shared it to all his buddies on LinkedIn. And even some folks that I didn't realize that had connections to this person some of my friends facebook friends and military people even they contacted me like dude i saw this thing on uh, we saw this thing on linkedin did you guys build build this it, they're, they're talking about your business uh did you guys build this you know they're using your business name i'm like yeah yeah we did 
And, well, then we were just absolutely inundated with a glut of orders. So the orders have come in, and because of, we had to schedule things out, we had to finish the orders that we already had on the books, but, so now this is the first week where I've gotten to uh, work on these new orders in earnest, and uh, it's been kind of a madhouse. Okay, has this thing got everything it needs? Uh, we might actually have to add might actually have to add more iron pl or, uh, iron plates in some places here. So, in fact, I think that's what we're going to do. So, this is the first week I've been able to work on these pro on these uh, products in earnest, and because of that, um, it's kind of stymied my ability to to make videos, if that makes sense. And I'm sure you can imagine that. It's uh, been a very busy week, very eventful week. And this is, and here's the thing though, the product is one that is, um, it takes a lot of TLC and careful attention to detail. And which I get, all products should be that way, but you know, some of them you can kind of, are a little easier than others to quote mass produce. So if you have to do eight of a particular project, a product one week, you know, I've been doing our other products mass in a mass production fashion, you know, for the last three years. And uh, so it's not a problem for me to do that. But this is the first time we've done this. This is the first week that this has been a mass production effort. And as such, it's been kind of a learning curve for me that I've had to uh, I've had to overcome, and uh, so it's been kind of interesting. But it's also taken a lot of time. I'm realizing things that I'm doing efficiently, things that I'm not doing efficiently. So, yeah, it's you know it's <laughs> for somebody who likes Factorio, it's a it's a good exercise. So, trying to work on certain products, certain stages of a product. Um, how many of each do I have to make? How long is it going to take? And how will that help me create the bigger final product? Yeah, it's all factorial related, right? So, anyway, that's taken a bunch of my time. Okay, so now that we've got these things being produced, we've got long-handed inserters, which we are going to need. There is something else we're going to need a ton of, and that is undergroundies. So let's... And we can do yellows. Yellows are fine. We, we just need an absolute crap ton. Oh, belts, right. So we have to do belts. We know that much. So why don't we set up... Because that's something I have, we haven't really done. We've got a sort of a little tiny effort all the way over here. Where is it? Right here. We've got this tiny little effort right here, but that's it. I mean, it's not much. So we might as well set up something that's got a little more effort behind it. So this is going to be making... No. No, 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 no. I think for belts we need gear wheels. So this is going to make gear wheels. And this is going to make the belts. And let's go ahead and do that. And once again Drop our utility pole, and let's make a steel chest, because we are going to need a bunch. Um, it's not going to reach, is it? Probably not. There we go. Alright, no space limiters there. We are going to fill that puppy up with belts. Also, since we're making those kinds of belts, we should also be making the undergroundies, which we're going to need a bunch of. Um, I, I get it. At this point, we should be working on red belts or even, you know, even blue belts. Well, we don't have blue belts yet, but we should be working on red belts, right? But yellow belts are okay. The blueprint is written for yellow belts. That way, it's a, uh, 
it's something that somebody can build as soon as they start the game if they so desire. So we're going to set that up and then we're going to set up our undergroundies. Um, and then it's also going to require these plates right here. And then we don't need many of these. So we're just going to do set a limiter on this one also. There we go. Or, you know what, we're building so much. We're going to be building so many of these things and needing so many of them. Let's go ahead and, and uh, allow for four full stacks. That would be good. Okay. Now, as you can see, we're going through the iron pretty quick. So that will help with that. Um, so let's see, we've got underground belts. We've got utility poles. We've got belts being produced. Um, trying to think what else we would need. We got blue-handed, red-handed, science labs. Obviously, we're going to need a bunch of science labs. How many can we make as it stands right now? So let's actually go get, is that full already? No, that is not full. What are you missing? And what is this thing missing? It's missing Oh. oh, okay, got it. Got it. There just aren't a ton of them around. Okay. Right. We're working on solar cells as well, and uh, our need for green chips is great, as isn't it always. So, so we, we're doing that. Um, so, I think there's a chest up here full of green chips. We're going to take some of that. We're going to take some... We're going to take some iron gear wheels. Okay, now let's, that should give us, yeah, 30 science labs. Yeah, that's a bunch. That should, that should be good. So, now that we've got that, undergroundies are coming. I really can't think of anything else. So let's just go ahead and start laying out uh, laying out the blueprints, shall we? Okay, I think we'll start here. This will be the top end. Now if we look at the map, we can see that, well, you know, the, the lab, it's kind of a long distance away, or a longer distance away from our base, but I find that as you start to scale up your base, I tend to make a mistake where I don't give appreciation to the scale that my base will be and I end up not giving myself enough room even though I initially thought I was giving myself more than enough I mean for all I know this might not be enough room maybe maybe I need to go out further than this because I, I anticipate using all this area I anticipate using this and uh, obviously this is already starting to be developed so I don't know maybe maybe even farther out but I don't want to stymie this copper ore area right here so maybe right here I think there'll be enough room here I think we'll try it <sighs> all right so here's how this works uh, let's see let me call up the blueprint book and boy these these new beacons are, are kind of wild these uh, the new beacon graphics pretty crazy looking um, Okay, these are them right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and add these. And where's the other one? Right here? Yeah, it's throwing me off because the, uh, the the beacon graphic is so different. So, all right, where are we? And we have no sun. You know what we should also do? Do I have the Do I have the materials to do it? Nope, I don't. I'm missing steel. While we're waiting for the sun to come up, let's go ahead and make ourselves some armor. And for that, we're going to need some steel. And did I actually set aside a crate of steel? Yeah, I did. And I'll take one. 
Oh, I can't ex can't put it in there. All right. Well, maybe I've got something in my inventory I can cook. There we go. So I'll grab one of these, and then can I make modular armor? There we go. So we're left that stew for a little while. We'll go back to this site. And let's start laying out our blueprints. Uh, yeah, I think this will work. I think this will be good. So this blueprint, if you've seen my earlier videos, you know what this looks like already. But I'll explain it in case you don't. Okay, so this blueprint is two parts. It's got basically a central tile and an end cap. Now this is an end cap, but let's start with the tile. Okay, this is the main body of the science area. So what we'll do is we're gonna go ahead and, see, I don't know if I wanna space it for beacons or not. I'm not a big player for beacons when uh, doing this game. I'm not a big, uh, I know they work. I just, beacons just generally aren't my thing when I play this game. But you know what, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll leave it. So we wanna try the new graphics. So let's see. Now granted, we don't have the ability to, uh, we don't have the ability to build this with robots yet, but at least we have a template that we can follow. So let's go ahead, lay a bunch of these out. And how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, so 12, uh, 24. 12, I'm sorry, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Whoops, nope, dead tree trunk in the way. All right. It takes up a lot of space. Let's see, 20. Did I say 20? Lost count. You know, counting with Joe Mama. Counting is fundamental. 48 and 50. Okay, so we've got room for 50. And... Now we just need the end cap, so let's go ahead, cap the ends, and yeah, see it just takes up a lot of space and uses a crap ton of belts, just an unbelievable number of belts, so there is that, but it, the big thing is it allows for all seven sciences to go through. And uh, it doesn't overtax any one science production because all the belts are the same length. Yeah, so one more thing. Uh, I just noticed within the last hour that we have broken into the triple digits and we are at 100 subscribers. I woke up this morning, actually, maybe even yesterday morning, it, we were actually here for a good 24 hours after some, you know, steady steady growth it just kind of topped out at uh, 99 subscribers and it kind of stayed there for a little bit but uh, almost like a tease but then i noticed right as i was eating my lunch that hey we crossed over into 100 subscribers how awesome is that so very cool so thank you guys if you're among that hundred thank you very much if you're not among that hundred i ask you to consider if you like what you're seeing then uh please by all means you are welcome here. And let's see. Character is in the way. I do that all the time. So we're oh, the bad thing about this is we have to manually place all of this garbage. So that's unfortunate, but at least the blueprint acts as a template as to exactly how we need to build it. So that's kind of cool. Not a bad thing. Um, do I not have lights? No, I don't. There's no room for lights because of the, uh, because we have to have room for the beacons if we ever decide to put, put any in. So, so what you can do with this, I might add, is that you can space, you can actually just click and drag that tile, the tile that we use to, to make these things. You can just click and drag it and it will actually space these out. Um, more compact. It just won't leave any room for beacons, if that makes sense. So, but yeah, that'll work. Um, 
Also utility poles. Yeah, I'd say one little bit of it. There's some lights here, but for the most part, there aren't any to speak of. Um, although, with these bigger poles, we can actually fit some. Right? No. No, 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 no. Because the beacons are big enough that they take up this extra space. That's why... Um, that's why there's a break in the belts like that. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down through here and I'm going to try to set up as much as I can and we'll see where we're at. Okay, guys. Well, there we go. So everything's laid out and it looks like we've got uh, we've got the entire the entire science lab ready to go. So let's go ahead and funnel blue or uh, let's go ahead and funnel the uh, red and green science into this new science area. So what we'll do is um let's see. I think for the moment we'll just we'll just reroute this belt from the green science. And where's the red science? Let's see, what would be involved? Okay, so we'd have to bring this around this way. Okay, so what we'll do is we will bring this down here. And right to here. So that will be the green science. And then we'll go ahead and feed the red science around this way. Now for the time being, we'll leave we'll leave the science that's uh oh actually you know what we can do we can actually do something here um what we're gonna do is we're actually going to reroute this belt we're gonna make it go the other way and it'll push all this green science back toward the lab i could do it with the red science too i suppose but not as critical there's just so much green science here, and it's a, it is a simple matter of just redirecting... Oops, it. It's a simple matter of just redirecting the belt. Not a big deal. All right, too easy. So, we'll redirect these around this way. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and start the next science, which is going to be advanced material processing. We're just going to go ahead and queue that up right the heck now. Let's redirect the undergroundies also. There we go. Eventually, I think we're probably going to have another, um, we're going to have another red science area. And uh, we don't have to worry about this one too much, but we'll, uh, we'll have another red science area that feeds into it. Uh, this is temporary. So until then, until that happens, until we get our larger area done, we're going to go ahead and redirect the red science from its current area into this new area. Let's make it look all purdy. And right to there. Okay, that's gonna get our red science in place. And the next thing we're going to do, we're going to set up this crate. And this crate is going to deposit blue science onto the belt in another location. So that's gonna dump that blue science there. So let's go down to the oil area and uh, let's see if we can't find ourselves. Okay, we can see the green science is already going around the belt. That's great. Oh, I see. It's, it's, I'm like, why is it so intermittent? Why is it sporadic? Oh, it's because all the labs have been pulling green science off and putting it inside themselves. Great. So let us head down here and see if we can find blue science. See how much is left. There sh or see how much has been produced thus far. Should be a good amount by now. 298. Perfect. Alright, so we'll let it continue to do its thing. It'll produce a little bit at a time, so at least we can sort... No, not breaking force! Dang it! Advanced material processing. Start research. Jeez. Wait a second. It was on breaking force. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. 
it was on braking force. I'm thinking, wait a second, that requires blue science. But that's right, I had actually given some blue science. Um, we put some blue science uh, onto the belt already, so, hmm. Yeah, and to avoid any confusion, when you feed science into this thing, you can feed a full belt of a single color of science. The This is already set up to distribute, like it, notice the red and green are both color coming in at full belts, and the, uh, but yet they're being combined onto um, half belts. So you don't have to worry about that. This takes care of that. You just need to feed in a double belt of a single science and you're good. It's got eight, eight inputs. So not a big issue. We should see advanced material processing happen. That would be excellent. What are we, how are we doing for power? I didn't check that. Power is good. All right. That power will likely, the power demand will likely increase significantly as more labs come online. Right, let's check our pollution. Well, pollution is still good so far. Still a long way from any biters. All right. Advanced material processing is done, and we have electric furnaces, so we can start putting those together. How many can I make? Can I make any of them right now? Yes, I can. I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right. So there we go. That is really what I wanted to accomplish today, was getting that uh, was getting that science area up and running. Um, just actually just throwing a couple lights down here. And then that's going to allow us... That, is, that has allowed us to create electric furnaces, and with those we can process ore a lot quicker, and uh, we can start to, I think, this is basically kind of the key to producing the other sciences at a much quicker, more uh, massive pace, and that's what we want to do. That's going to help us grow our base, because as we all know, the factory must grow. I'm a poet, and now you all know it. But anyway, that should do it for me. I'm going to edit this down to a reasonable length. I think we're up over an hour. Sorry about that. But hey, at least it's not a stream replay. So a little like a like a properly edited video, right? So I like to think. Well, anyway, y'all have a wonderful day. And I will see you in the next one. Ciao.